Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of ultra custom night and before any of you mentioned it in the comments if my headphones look a little strange on this ear you didn't see the last episode and also before i get going in what i plan on doing this episode which is not blindfolded again i ain't trying that for a while not until unlimited or no vent errors get added to the game make it happen I started a new series with my friend Aiden. It is a Pokemon Black and White Versus, and I would greatly appreciate it if you could check that out. Help support that series. I want to keep it going, and I want people to enjoy it, because me and Aiden have been enjoying it so far. We've only recorded one episode. Uh, the next episode will be up on his channel, and that's pretty much how it's going to be going. Uh, one, ep one episode of the Black and White Versus will be uploaded on my channel. The next will be uploaded on his channel, and vice versa. So, I hope that you you give it a chance, because as I've noticed, anything that's not Ultra Custom Night doesn't do as well. When I went into Ultra Custom Night today, a few characters that I had not seen before had caught my attention. And that is these, these four right here. Pit, Spring Bonnie, Counting Freddy, The Stitch Wraith, Fetch, and Plush Trap Chaser. If you don't know these characters, they are from the Fazbear's Frights stories, and I've seen all of them so far, even up to the most recent one with, uh, I think, William Afton, where he gets exploded. <laughs> so yeah, all these characters are from the Fazbear's Fright stories, and I've been really enjoying those stories so far, so I'm going to see if the developer of this game, Camille, did a good job of implementing them into an Ultimate Custom Night styled game. There's also a bunch of Five Nights at Candy's characters, and I'm I'm gonna think about taking a look at them in a in a future episode. All right, Pit Spring Bonnie, he'll come out of the ball pit on the prop storage camera every couple of seconds, and we'll go back. Oh, okay. So you're just supposed to control shock him when he gets out of the ball pit, and I know where that is. Counting Freddy, he'll appear on the cams. You must quickly lower the monitor and use the controlled shock. After which you will laugh. Put on your mask uh, to not get killed. If you shock when you're not when you're supposed to put the mask on, <laughs> you'll die. The Stitch Wraith. He will walk around floor two collecting parts. If you hear him move, make sure you can find him somewhere. If you cannot find him in any of the camera, it means he has entered the elevator. Close both of the left. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fetch. He will text you throughout the night. Try to mess up stuff in different ways. Plush Trap Chaser. He moves through the duct system, immune to the duct seals. The closer the audio lure is to him the faster he becomes all right took a few seconds to to read through them fetch is talking to me already i am pretty scared of what <laughs> oh was that a bug because i'm playing the beta release of this game and i'm kind of he's what is he doing it's a bit cold in here what was that? Wait, where's the Stitch Wraith? Whoa, hello, Counting Freddy. Hmm, <laughs> okay. God, I hate, really? I need to scroll all the way down to the bottom each time I die so I can reevaluate. All right, so this is a bit of a, a bit of a process to, to learn all these. So yeah, that just freezes him in place completely. Whoa. What? This guy's AI is intense. I haven't seen the Stitch Wraith. Hey, okay, what if I just keep the two doors closed the entire time and have the power- Forgot about him. I forgot about him, but that's okay. Oh, oh. Okay, let's go to a more interesting camera, I suppose. What, there he is again. Sure, take internet. 
I do not care. These guys are fast AF. Wow. This is a bit. This is a lot. This might just be... Where am I right now? Oh, that was just him coming back! Wow, they need to do something about that. But I think that might just be a thing with the beta that I'm playing. Like, the sole reason why they move at hyper speeds. I don't even get a chance. Do they just move this fast? I... I am never gonna get a second to breathe. Stop moving me, Fetch. You're a bad dog. Whoops. Does he get mad if I do that with him not there? I just... I just don't think this would be possible with hundreds of other characters in the mix. So, I do believe that they'd need to be nerfed. And I don't... I'm not entirely sure if it's an issue with the... with the beta I'm playing, but... Who knows? This soundtrack never gets old in this game. It's really nice. I do like it a lot. Seems that putting on the mask instantly makes him go away. I'm... I'm bare... It's not... It's not too cold in here. It's, in fact, the complete opposite. Shut up. Shut it. I'm gonna die from the Stitch Wraith. What? What? But actually, though, they move so fast. They are literally too fast. And now I forgot- There- Oh my god. You know, maybe I shouldn't have played this beta, because maybe these characters are exclusive to the beta right now. Can you believe that? I- I'm- I'm not doing that. I- that is- No, I need to- I need to do it.
Oh my god. Alright. So. That was actually. That was actually fun. Like. That was the first time in a while that I started getting like my heart pumping from this game. Like. Those characters are doable. But they were surprisingly challenging for just being four. So I do not think that it is possible if you were to pair these guys with hundreds of other animatronics, which people are doing now. I haven't done that. I'm probably never going to even attempt to beat all of the animatronics on 20. I couldn't even do 15,000 points. Like, that's the best I've done so far. I think I can do better than that and with practice. But these, these guys were a fun challenge. I'm glad that I did this. But I do think that they require a bit of a nerf before trying to pair them with like 400 million thousand other animatronics. I don't know how many there are, like 420. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to end this episode of Ultra Custom Night here. Leave in the comments below which other groups of animatronics would you like me to go up against? The Candies, the Flumpties, the FNAF AR crew, uh, FNAF 4, like, I mean, not like the regular FNAF 4, but like the special ones, like the FNAF, the FNAF VR, like there's a bunch of other characters that I could take a peek at. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to end this episode of Ultra Custom Not Here, remember, to check out my first episode of the Pokemon Black and White Versus with me and Aiden. We're having a lot of fun with that series. We can't wait to keep on going with it. And I want you guys to just, just take a look at it. See if you like it. See if you like different content from me. If you've watched almost exclusively my, fina my Ultimate Custom Night content or my Ultra Custom Night content, then that's fine. You can like what you want, but... I also do like to put a lot of effort into my non-Ultra Custom Night stuff, so I would greatly appreciate it if you could take a look at that. But if you did enjoy this episode of Ultra Custom Night, leave a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know when I up next. I am almost halfway to 1,000 subscribers. It has been my goal since I started this channel years ago to get to 1,000 subscribers, and if I can get... If I can get to at least 700 or at least even 800 subscribers by the end of this year, I would be happy with that. I've also almost reached 60k views, total views on the channel as of today. I don't know what it's at, I haven't checked. But that means that I've been bringing in some new people. If you're new here, leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!